to fellow believers. But it doesn't stop there. He has shown us the love of Christ to friends, to families, to members of co workers etc. So this morning, we don't just want to say how much you love one another, but we want you to demonstrate that. What I want you to do right now, as I just want you to, to kick the class table of love that I place it on the side of you, and just tell them how much you appreciate them. Tell them how much you love them, and just give them a nice green dog. Come on, we're going to take 20 seconds, a minute to do that. But we want to practice love. So this time we talk about it, but we don't apply it. So we want to do that at similar age, and what you do that is similar age, children to children, brothers and sisters, see the Lord. Admonish us to love one another, not just by word, but by doing. But when we do this, then we are fulfilling scripture. We are fulfilling the word of God. Because love covers a multitude of sin. So this morning, as we celebrate under the pain, love one another. We want you to worship God.
You're the God of heaven, the God of mercy, the God of great grace, the God of love. We adore you today. We appreciate you, Lord, for gathering us.
this Deacon Michael Turner and found Grace God.
shall remain standing for the reading of the Word of God. Coming down to leave us in Scripture reading, John 15, 9 and 17, and John 4, 7 to 12. This is the Willington, Delaware, and family. Remain standing. Thank you, may be seated just before the praise team comes. We just want to welcome our um, midst this morning, worshiping on this family, family Sunday under the team Love One Another. We have our former national overseer, Bishop Rami and Minister Rami. Could you just stand and give a wave, Bishop Rami? Sister Rami, Mr. Rami, our president. We also, we also have uh, guest speaker, that's Pastor Branson Gibson and his lovely wife, Pastor Gibson, stand please. Short term family right there, a beautiful family. And also we have, in our midst, we have our Northern Directors, Minister Franklin Ferguson, Franklin Bull and Mr. Sharon Ferguson in our midst. Bull, Sharon Bull, Sharon Bull, very, very excited 
and all of the bishops and hosts, the ministry, the diaconates, we welcome you to this family Sunday. Coming now, okay, coming now is our senior pastor, Bishop Hewlett A. Hall Senior. Let's share the Good morning to you all. We're getting ready for praise and worship, but I just wanted to say something before we begin. I, do you feel like praising the Lord this morning? Yeah. Do you really feel like praising the Lord? Yeah. Do you have something to praise the Lord for? Yeah. You really don't sound like you have to. Come on, let's talk to me. Do you feel like you have something to praise the Lord for? Yeah. Look at the person next to you and say, if you don't have something to praise the Lord for, come on, say it. If you don't have something to praise the Lord for, Ago, a few weeks ago, Brother Wilfred Bellamy, 90 plus years old, was at his business establishment early in the morning. And a person came, or persons came in, and struck him in his head with a hammer and robbed him. He was in the hospital and visited him. and. Uh, it was pretty bad, he had to go and this undergo surgery. And he got out of the hospital, he was home, but he is in church this morning. <laughs> and His family could have been here this morning in the morning because he could have been dead, he could have been murdered. But the faithfulness of God, the goodness of God, raised this man up and the devil did not have his way. You want to stand on your feet to praise the name come.
district overseer, Pastor Branson. And we want the Lord to anoint him afresh, that he will speak as an oracle. Let us pray, eternal God of us, in the precious name of this. God, we bring your man serving Lord to this country. Lord, anoint him afresh. Fresh oil, fresh oil, Lord. We pray, God, that the word will go forth with power. Is the word shall not only any two edges. So. We thank you, dear God, as this word go forth. That someone will be blessed. Someone will be inspired. Someone will get to know the Lord in a personal way. Someone will get to love him even more and more than ever before. We pray, God, that you will cover him. Bless him. In Jesus' name, amen. Man, what a joy it is to be in the house of the Lord. Amen. You may be seated. Take this opportunity this morning to greet our moderator, Fritz Grant, his precious wife, senior pastor here, Bishop Hilden Hammer, and Sister Bob, Dr. Woodley, Sister Bernie, in their absence, our national seer, Bishop Franklin Ferguson, and Dr. Obina. Along with our former national overseer, Bishop Browning and Minister Jacqueline Browning, all of the bishops here present, all of the diaconates, all of the ministry persons, and all of us the saints in the Lord, it is good to be here on this family day. I want to thank the Lord this morning to have my wife and children with me, my family, my wife Shanta, our children, Zael, Sune, Silo, Zachary, and Zalian. God for them. Yeah, you can give a look around the world. Uh, thank you so much. I want to thank the Lord. I think my parents are here as well, at least one Saturday. Uh, one of them you wouldn't know he's here, except you touch him. The next one you'll know she's here in a minute. So I want to thank God for Pastor Drex, Sister Benny. Some of the saints are also here from the Love Center. Thank God for you as well. It is good to be in the house of the Lord. And it's good to celebrate family day together. It's just a joy to be here in East Street and to be with the saints of God and to celebrate families. Family is important to God and so it should be important to us. And today we celebrate under the theme, love one another. Love one another. I'm going to read the text read earlier. I'll just go right into the message this morning. And if you pray, I believe the Lord will help us. Amen? Say to the person next to you, let's love one another. Love one another. In Matthew chapter 22, a lawyer asked Jesus, Question. Question was, Master, which is the great commandment in the law? Jesus responded, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment. And the second is like unto it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. On these two commandments, Jesus said, hang all the law and the prophets. As believers, many of us struggle with that second commandment. We love God. Praise the Lord, everybody. We love God. We have no issues singing to him, praying to him, worshiping and adoring him. We lift our hands and the tears stream down our faces. But we struggle to love one another. We struggle to love people who are quote unquote different from us. We struggle to love people who see things differently from us. 
some reason my spirit don't take to them. That sounds a little more spiritual. Yeah. 
Jeeves and John will tell you that he loves people even when they care more about their positions and titles than they care about others. Praise the Lord somebody. But Jesus loved her 
John says, Beloved, that God so loved us, we are not so. It's talking about people who deny Jesus, people who doubted him, people who said that they had nothing to do with him. But Jesus loved them. And he says, As I have loved you, so love one another. In other words, the way that you must measure your love to me is not how you love yourself, but how Christ. How did Christ love you? How did he love you? How did Jesus love you? When everybody turned their backs on you, Jesus stood by you. And now you begin to tell me that you can walk away from somebody else and leave them by their own side. What Jesus is saying is that the person that you deem unlovable, the person that you deem unlovely, you were there. And just as you
finally. Say the name of this one in touch. I can't hear you. Monica's waking up here. I can't hear you all of a sudden.
They love the Lord. The next one sits down, they love the Lord. But them two will talk. Something is wrong with that.
by this. So long and know that you are my disciples. If you have love, one to another. Last week, Sunday, that scripture got to me. Because I always read it. And every time I read it, it says the same thing. If I miss, shall all men know that you are my disciples. If you have love, one to another. But Ramon, when I read it last week, I saw a word that's always been there. The word is all. No, it's all. All is all. By this, by loving you, all men will know that you are my disciples. All men includes blind men. All men, Bishop, includes deaf men. All men includes Bishop, lame men. All men includes employer men. It includes employee men. It includes boss man men. Subordinate man men. It includes all men. It includes neighbor men. Church of God men, Baptist men, Catholic men, Anglican men, all men. It means that I must love you in such a way that if a man is blind, he could feel the truth.
pray. And let the people of God say, Amen. Amen. The Lord bless you.
little uh, gifts, little appreciation. We want to wish all of those a special happy birthday. Uh, my sister Monet Sims, Sister Evelyn, Evelyn Gibson, Deacon Herman Clay Sr., and Brother Van Newhaven and Percy Bladen. Sister Lord Ronald Williams, Bishop Sebus Ferguson, and Brother Donato being a celebrating birthday. And to tomorrow we have a special person that will be celebrating with us, and that is that's been the Sharon Go. Stand up and Sharon Go. But you know what it is. Say monkey celebrating birthday tomorrow. Come on, look at that she looking at red. Valentine all over. Wow, she celebrated. Happy birthday, I believe you are for that. <laughs> so I have to mention that. And we also, we also special welcome, extended to all families worshiping here at the Tabernacle and the families, families Sunday. Each family is important for God, you can read that. We welcome you as well. And congratulations. Pastors, ministers, and followers of these three tabernacles extend congratulations to Dr. Vivian Ravina. Ravina, Dr. Ravina Han. Stand up, Dr. Han. Come on, stand up. You are one of us, some machines being celebrated. Our 25 years of 25, one of the 25th most influential women in business. God bless you for that achievement as she celebrates that milestone. And thank you on behalf of the pastor, thank you and for the latest the uh, Mavis Seymour had a wonderful uh, homegoing celebration yesterday. So we want to keep that family in prayers. And of course, you have the new ideas and must drive. And also, announcement for the week before I get all these little gifts we have here. Monday night, family night, and on Tuesday, 12 no midday prayer meeting. 630 Sanctuary Choir Practice and Ministry. It's alive in the Word. Family Life Series. This will conclude the Family Life Series on Ministry. The topic is commitment to family. So we want you to come out, bring your Bible, bring your pen, bring your notepad. We have a very provocative and very outstanding uh, Bible study. Thursday, 12 no midday prayer meeting, fellowship service, and on Thursday, we have a fellowship service at St. John's Baptist Church. In fact, the church will be in charge of that service, so we want you to come out and support that service on Thursday at St. John's Native Baptist Church. We are actually in charge of that service. Then on Friday, family night. Now on Friday, on Friday the 28th, the Ministry Family Ministry Round Table. We want you to come out because we have with some four very important topic and present as we have Sister Eunice Bell will be talking about the role of the wives. The role of parents. You don't want to miss this. This will be Ted and Vanilla Point. This is going to be very exciting. The role of parents. The role of husband. That will be presented. To that will be Deacon Philip Bellamy. So you want to come out to that and then money. You need to know how you manage your money. Finances. That will be Minister Earl Bellamy. Now refreshment will be served, so we want you to come out. Next week we conclude our family month. So we want you to come out and be a part of that panel discussion. It's going to be cooperative. It's going to be very exciting. So we want to want you to engage yourself by coming out and supporting that event initiative on the 28th. That's a Friday evening. Now we have some celebrating. We have celebrating. We want to invite this lovely sister, Eunice Bellamy, that's uh, Denise. Yes, Denise Bellamy is celebrating her uh, wedding anniversary. I don't see you earlier, but come on, sister. Come on, sister. Denise, you look lovely. You didn't come in here. You do the right way. She's celebrating and we want to give her this apple cider.
very charming young lady, Sister Denise, on behalf of Pastor Ella and Bishop Wendy and families and this ministry, we present you with this lovely apple cider for you and your husband Earl to chill. You know, sit down and put that in the freezer and get them nice wine glass. And you all toast to one another and then do a little spoosh there. He was in the so you got to do that privately. And God bless you as you continue on celebrating marriage. God bless you. Now, I want all of the local East Street directors to stand. Come on, East Street local directors, stand. Please stand. This is a turn around. This is our East Street local director. This is what, what you see happening in East Street tonight. Today is. And the true tone of fun is these directors working hard. And I want you to come up here. We have some little gifts to give you and we want Sister Denise, Sister Wendy, you come. Up. We have a food box to you. I want all your companies, all the directors come. We have our side up. We want to give you a highlight of success. We like to award, award you when you performing well and doing well. But Sister Bethany, Wendy and Bethany did an awesome job. And uh, Pastor Francis, we want you to come. We want you to come and uh, we want you to present this to Sister Bernadette. Sister Bernadette did extremely well in, in performing the set of those tickets for the, the, the Night of Love that uh, we can tell them. Did exceptionally well and she's a go getter. She's a winker. She knows how to get things done and all the whole thing. So, Sister. On behalf of the family ministry, we present this to you and your wonderful husband, Captain Amy, must, must fly, Captain Benedict, uh, for your work, your hard work. May God bless you. Okay, Pastor Han, we want you to come and we want you to present our local directors. Come this way, please. Where are your husband? Where are Okay, see what we are and see, I think we have some apple sizes here we want to present to all of our local directors for their work, their tireless work, their faithful work in this church, local church. So we want you to get this nice basket of our, this apple size, we want you to chill that, you and your husband. And this is Edna. Edna is a hard waker, faithful waker, always willing to go beyond the call of duty to help this ministry move forward with support. Thank you, thank you very much. Just before I bring the past on, let's close remarks. Now, this is not Easter, but we have something under, the, under these fuels. Some of these fuels have some things underneath it. We have some little gifts, some little watchers, so we don't know at the end, we want you to look. It's about five of them. You're going to have to bend down and look to see where you get it. Some fans will be blessed. See, each three family do things in style. So when you look, they stick up nice and in here, you look, you may find something. So you can look right now and see if you can find it. Come on, you got to look, you got to bend. Hold that up, see that sister get one right there. Hold that up, sister. See, that's one there. There's some more. Oh, see, next one standing there. Wow. There's some more. When you look at it, wow. Wow! Take a picture of that, Michael. Each video takes its style. But look, there's the next one. This will be five. I only see two. Back some more. Y'all look, y'all look like it's supposed to be five. I'm gonna, oh, there's the next one right there. That's the sister right there, sister. Head feeling. That's the head feeling, you find one. I'm gonna tell this, it's supposed to be five. Come on, hold it up. That's one. Two, hold on five. That's four, that's the 95. That's five. I don't want to send you the best now, so you gotta go. 
some people go in your family and celebrate love, all of the love. Now we can bring our pastor on, Mr. Hewitt A. Hannah Senior. You want some? Come on, let's say praise the Lord. Because she is in Orlando, along with Sister Val, Dr. Rovina, and several others, including Esther and um, Judy, attending the women's uplift of our church in the state of Florida. And so we pray that God will continue to bless them. But before we go, I just want to acknowledge the presence of these visitors. Rosemary Wilson, can you stand please? She's from Free in Jesus. Wonderful. Please stand in. And, uh, C. Arnett, also from Free in Jesus. They get to Sunday school. Please stand in. Andrew Pollard. Andrew Pollard. He left. Uh, there he is. Wonderful. Please stand in. Delma Moss. Delma Moss, are you still here? She left. Okay, let's tell her sister. Okay. Uh, Jamal Lloyd, that's Tessa Lloyd, Tessa Lloyd, that's their niece, okay. David and David Johnson, of course, that's sister, sister Ellen Johnson, so please stand. Um, Sebastian Curry, Sebastian Curry, are you still here? Wonderful, keep standing. Kenna Jones, Kenna Jones. It's really wonderful. She is from St. Teresa Old Catholic Church. Uh, this is Franz Crooks. Crooks. Franz, are you here? Wonderful. Keep standing. Wonderful. And then this is, is that April or me? April or me? April. What? That's a wonderful young woman there. Happy to have you all today. And I'm going to ask one of our people. We are in the process. We have ordered a thousand pens. One thousand pens. And we hope to take carriage of them, possession of them in the next few days, if not in the next week or so. And so we want to. There's a very, very fine couple in our church. They love the Lord and they love the leadership of our church. And one day I was in my office, keep standing like this, this and uh, Dr. Lisa Roberts Hunter came to the office and she said that she was driving. So this thing was in her spirit to move some time back. And she said, something I said in the sun or something. And she came straight to the office and she brought us. Half of her husband, would you stand please? He's too long for young people. She brought us a thousand dollars. She said, This one thousand dollars is to purchase these same little trinkets that we're talking about, including cards for the pastors. And, uh, and I'm so happy to tell you that we have made the first installment, a thousand pens, that will say, Church of God Prophecy, a visiting I think that's what the wording is. Just the Janet Ray is leading, leading over on this. And so the reason I ask our visitors to stand is because when we get them, the people who invited you, please come to me, audiences, and you will get a pen from this church to give to your visitor. Okay? We love your visitor and we appreciate it. And keep standing, sister. Let's give our visitors a hand. Demonstrated to them that you must love God and whatever God has given. 
talking about, this is what, this is what uh, Pastor Branson was preaching about today. It's such a tremendous word. God bless you. Uh, Mr. Bobasio, we love you, we appreciate you. And so I'm going to come down and uh, I'm going to take you a while and I want you to come with me and make a you come and do it with Pastor Branson. And you want to know me. And I want to ask anybody that says, God is moving on you yeah. to do something. You know, it's a rare word today. You know, you have, and you have an abundance. You heard the story where you came from abject or abject poverty. But Patsy Russell reached out, touched this young man. Today, he serves as a branch manager of Commonwealth Bank. I thank the Lord for his wife. I thank the Lord for their children. We appreciate, we appreciate you so much. Sorry, I love you. This child is my God child. And I thank the Lord for this family. God is faithful and God will continue to bless and to prosper them. For you, I am.
direct test from Northern Bahamas, sister, sister, sister Sharon Bo, and her husband, Pastor Franklin Bo. We appreciate you so much. Start up one more time. And uh, God bless you. And I don't think, I, I, I know that Pastor Branson has brought us the presence of his biological parents, but he didn't ask him to stand. Please stand up. Please stand up. Please stand up. And you want to know if God is fine? Boy Scrub, you got a black slave woman. <laughs> they did a terrific job raising a wonderful son, one who I love and hold in high esteem. God bless us, I believe you've touched everyone. I believe we have a charisma. Charisma, please stand up. Charisma is a teacher, there is a woman, and a faith daughter. God bless you, we love you. God keep and strengthen you both. Amen. I think we've touched everyone. Let's see, I went, I went wave at me. Wave at me. He's whole generation. Young and young, but he's whole generation. Thank you, God. He is the grandson of the late Bishop Alvin S. Moses. Amen. That's our son. He's there. He's lovely wife. And that's Maddie on the side of you. Maddie wave to me. Wonderful. He's a quiet woman. They don't want to be saved, but you know, forgive me. And my big brother. Hey, what's going on? Wave, 